I'm closest to Christ in the sanctuary on the windowsill because that's where I like to pray and I just get good feelings about it. The, the place where I feel closest to God is in the youth room when I'm sharing um, uh, a nice spiritual experience with uh, all of my peers and just. I feel closest career. to Christ when I'm laying in my bed and listening to Jack Johnson. Yes, I feel closest to Christ is at the lake when you come out of the little coves. It's like the open water and it, the sun coming off of it. It's just like a picture from God. So. There is a place at Lakeshore called a prayer labyrinth, and every time I'm going through something and I'm at Lakeshore, I like to walk it. So I feel closest to okay. God. I feel closest to God. Um, after prayer service, when we're all sitting together and praying together, and it's all dark, and the the music is playing and stuff, and yeah. Um, I have this tree outside of my house that I like to sit in, and I like to read books and all that stuff. Sometimes I just sit there and think, and sometimes I just sit there and pray, and just think about the world around me, and that's where I'm all closest to God. This is going to sound a little strange, but the place I feel closest to God is when I'm in the car with my friends and we have the music up really loud and the windows are down and occasionally we stick one foot out the window. I feel closest to God whenever I'm lying in my bed at night when everything's all quiet and I'm closest reading the Bible. God when I'm driving down the road and praying for the Lord. I felt closest to God this past summer when I went to Urban Immersion and I was helping all the people and they just filled my heart with love for God and newfound appreciation for Him. I feel closest to God when I'm outside and I'm alone and it's really nice out and there's like birds and stuff. And yeah. I feel closest to Christ when I'm on row 60 Neyland Stadium looking out on the Tennessee Vols losing to Missouri in four overtimes.